what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A former Prospect, Kentucky assistant police chief sent numerous racist messages to a Louisville Metro police recruit, including one that said, if he caught black juveniles smoking marijuana, he should shoot them. Todd Shaw, Mark ass, sent the disturbing, racist, and threatening Facebook messages to the recruit, according to a letter Jefferson County Attorney Mike O'Connell sent to Prospect Mayor John Evans. Shaw, who had previously worked 20 years as a police officer in Louisville, was suspended, then fired last year from the prospect force. O'Connor told Evans that while Shaw and the recruit were discussing a training scenario in which the recruit was to write a paper on the right thing to do if he caught three juveniles smoking marijuana, Shaw stated, fuck the right thing. If black, shoot them. Shaw instructed the recruit how to handle parents of a juvenile called smoking pot rope. If mom is hot, then fuck her. If dad is hot, then handcuff him and make him suck my dick. Unless dad is black, then shoot him. But that's not all. Shaw also wrote that Martin Luther King Jr. was nothing more than a racist womanizer and that because someone shot him, he gets a day off with pay each year. O'Connor told reporters that Shaw was fired and that the recruit wasn't hired by Louisville Metro. Is this any surprise? Y'all know they got white supremacists running rampant through all police departments. This dude was known about a long time ago. He had been fired before for misconduct. Had a long history of people filing racial complaints against him, but they kept him on the force. You know why? Because in the United States of America, they reward bad behavior. They reward racist police officers. This dude was, didn't just keep his job. He moved up the ranks. He was an assistant police chief. He had a lot of power, a whole lot of power. And you can only hope that that recruit did not get brainwashed by him because he was working on him. He felt really comfortable to tell him that information. You know that's not the first time he told a recruit to do that. That's what I'm telling y'all, man. Leadership starts at the top. And the Louisville, all, Louisville Police Departments, all of them are corrupt anyway. They're corrupt. They got a long history of racial discrimination and bias and beating on people of color. Louisville, they had that they had that big scandal where the police officers were pulling people over and sexually assaulting them, not just women, boys and men. They were sexually assaulting boys and men and women. And the police department, including the chief, tried to cover it up for a long time and it finally hit the fan. They kept them on. See, bad behavior is rewarded in America. All through America, it's not just the police force, man. It's in government. You know, it's it's on the municipal municipal level. It's it's Congress. It's you know it's it's you know it's on the state level. It's it's on the you know uh, it's on it's in education. Oh man, it's bad in education. Don't ever get that confused. It's bad in education. Business. People who are foul, low down, bottom feeders, scavengers. Totally corrupt, stank ass individuals are being promoted. Some of y'all watching this right now and you're thinking about that person 
who ain't shit, but they got the promotion over you. That person who is less qualified, that person who is not a unifier, but a separatist, but he excelled over you or she excelled over you. It's not just one incident. This is a culture. This is a social and professional culture in the United States. And especially in law enforcement. Law enforcement is not meant to help the people, the citizens in the country. It's fake. For the people who still believe that, they will believe anything. I could sell them a damn bridge in Fifth Ward. Because they'll believe, if they believe that, with all of the evidence that has been documented, that has been presented on corrupt police departments all throughout America through the years, and it ain't not one that's not corrupt even in the small cities. There's little towns with two cops. Corrupt. All of it's corrupt. I can only think the few that try to get in there and infiltrate and throw some of that stuff off, man. Those dudes that might see you doing a little something that you ain't supposed to be doing. They say, hey, man, don't embarrass me, man. Get on up out of here. Get out of here with that. You know, that petty stuff that can get somebody three years in prison, five years in prison. You know? I can only commend the ones who at least, when they buddy go off, at least try to stop, at least try to get in the way. Hey, hey, man, you know, you know. Cause they, you know, if you're gonna be in it, you can't, you cannot come after them. You cannot tell if you act like you in there to help the public, man. They're gonna get rid of you. They're gonna get rid of you fast. Another dirty cop. Imagine that. It's not a big deal anymore, man. I mean, as far as like finding out about it. That's not a big deal. What they're doing, their actions are always going to be a big deal. But as far as finding out we got another corrupt officer or that the officer feel this way or say that, we already know they're saying this. We already know they got a hit out on black males. We already know that. So when we get documented proof, that's all that is. It's just documented proof. But we already knew that because it had to be some type of hit out on black men for it to happen so frequently and for so many of them to be so comfortable with doing it and for so many of them to get off. It had to be a hit. And dude just got caught. That's all that was. That's all that was. Y'all keep your fingers crossed on a guilt fueled suicide. From Todd Shaw. Wouldn't that be nice? No more talk. What the haters talking about? Damn.